Okay, I got to play the demo of Content Warning. Basically, the demo is what they're doing is they're letting you play for free for the first day of, of the release, which is a really neat way of, of getting people involved, letting them learn the system so that they don't flounder around with people that go, eh, you're such a dumb noob and all that. Plus, free is always good. It's a neat game, a lot of fun, uh, something different. The premise of the game is spoof. It's spoofing urban exploration and ghost hunting to a degree. Um, hunting, well, what you do is you and a party of between, well, you can go yourself. There can be one to, I think, five, four or five uh, people in a party. And you're, you're role playing as content creators that are urban explorers looking for ghosts or you know monsters or whatever but in this game they're very real and they can come and get you you won't die permanently but you will kind of pseudo die in that you will lose the ability to can you'll be incapacitated you'll go down your body will lay there and you'll be watching the rest of the the round from uh, a third person perspective and the round is just going into one of these levels, walking around with your video equipment and your flashlights, looking for the monster, the ghost type of thing, getting good footage of it, and then getting out before it kills you all. Once you're out and you have your footage, you take it to a station in your yard that's a DVR type of station. It take, you take your camera and you plug it into that and it spits out a DVD. You take the DVD and bring it to your uh, web TV station where you broadcast it on ScareTube and you watch the live and you watch the reactions to your live. People, well fake people, but there's comments in the chat and there's a little view, how many people are viewing just like, you know, it's kind of like YouTube, it's kind of a spoof of YouTube. And if you get enough views, I think the first level is 3,000, the next level is 45,000, and they increase as the levels go on. You have three days, three attempts to get to 3,000. If you get it, then you get a bunch of money, and you go on to the next level. And the next level is a completely new place. So, but you have to sleep. You actually go into your little, <laughs> you go into your little home, and you get in you, the whole party's got beds and they all get into a bed and you hit a button and you I mean not for a long period of time but there's this little cut scene where you go black like you're sleeping and then you wake up the next morning and go and do it again <laughs> and uh, it, there's a couple of kiosks in your yard that help you out there's a recharging kiosk so your your uh, cameras and, and your flashlights and all your electrical equipment that requires batteries gets the battery recharged at this station. There's a kiosk which is a spoof of Amazon. On the Amazon spoof you can buy upgrades. Uh, like in the picture you see here they've got the old movie clacker. You can buy that. Um, you can buy medical packs that keep your, your life up if you're attacked. You can buy you know, better flashlights, better cameras, all sorts of, of different uh, AV uh, equipment like boom mics and all sorts of stuff. You can also buy uh, music to put on your stream to make it more exciting. That's what the purchases are. They're generally to improve your stream so that you get more likes. And you take your new equipment, the, the, even the, the way it's delivered is cute. So once you buy it, you, you walk over to you have a little helipad and a quadcopter like Amazon drone delivery thing shows up and drops this crate on the, on the helipad marker and your stuff's inside the crate. <laughs> so then you go into, you, you have this kind of UFO uh, potted plant looking device that you get into. It's a big, looks like a big space capsule and when you hit a button it submerges and goes into this underworld that's very dark and creepy and you have to wear oxygen tank on your back and that's the other thing if you stay down there too long the oxygen runs out and then you die so you don't fight anything you don't shoot anything 
the the most antagonistic or combative thing you have is a stun gun that you can use on a couple of these things to at least get them off you long enough to run away. But uh, you're all about searching out, finding, filming, broadcasting these monsters for fame and fortune. It's, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, it's a good kind of uh, horror, psychological, cartoonish uh, joyride. It's, I really like it. What's up everyone, it's Soulboy here, and today we are going to explore unfathomable horrors of our own imagination. Let's go. Oh hey, same place, new angle. So yeah, today we're just here wandering around looking for a scary stuff. Uh, kind of even more upsetting now there's only two of us. What was that? You think that was good? Was that fucking annoying enough like an actual YouTuber? Right. <laughs> I hope you make it back alive. I kind of want to see my work, you know? Let's see if we can't get some horrors around here. I really don't want to go anywhere. Thank you. 